because it's Vlad and he's like the vampire of all vampires. But we're putting Vlad in his place and we're being like, don't you show up in Moonwood Mill on a full moon, Vladosaurus Rex? Like, what do you think you're doing? You don't belong here. This isn't your place. Go back to Forgotten Howl. I can't. Oh, I think we beat him. We did. We kicked Vlad's butt. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ethwin and we are back for some more werewolves gameplay. But before we go into werewolves gameplay, I just have to say that the trailer for the new expansion pack dropped just recently and it's going to be high school and i'm excited about that i think that that'll be really cool it will be really fun and it's definitely something that i think a lot of family like legacy oriented players have been wanting something like that that has a little bit more depth for teenagers for quite a long time so i'm looking forward to that and it's crazy to me how soon it's coming out when we just got a new game pack with werewolves and this will be coming out at the end of july and so that's really exciting i'm excited about the new expansion pack that's coming out and how that's gonna go so we will be exploring that here when the time comes when that finally drops but for right now we are going to keep going on with our werewolves let's play that we've been doing with our sim eliana and in our last episode we discovered our fated mate was lou which was like completely a surprise like i wasn't expecting that i didn't realize that was even a feature as part of werewolves so that was a surprise so we found our fated mate and today we're going to be experiencing the full moon and seeing what that is like this will be our first time with a full moon and just kind of see what that whole transformation is going to end up looking like so let's hop into the game and see how that transformation ends up going okay so we are at the bar in moonwood mill right now we're kind of like talking to some people and we have our, our fury is is up there so we'll see what happens as that full moon comes it is a full moon but if you we kind of look up at the sky it's still daylight like there's no moon just yet but i feel like we've got to be getting close because it's 7 30 p.m sim time so something's got to be happening pretty soon so we'll just kind of chat with some people hanging out here we can definitely work on like being an ambassador for werewolves like we can discuss being a werewolf we can maybe do that with jenna akiyama here um she's come all the way over here from mount komarebi so we should be having our full moon effects happening sometime soon and i'm thinking keegan here is going to change transform as well because it would seem that he is a werewolf We'll discuss the wild things a little bit. I wonder if Keegan is in a pack. It doesn't say he's in a pack, so maybe he's just kind of a wolf looking for a family out there. I don't know. Hard to say. All right, it is... I, okay, so we've come into to dark. Let's see, do we have a moon? Oh, there it is! There is the full moon. It is... it is rising. Nothing has happened to us yet. We're just hanging out here at the bar, like you do. We do have a new ability point. Maybe we should spend that. I think what we need to do for our ability point is to be a hunter because we do have the carnivore. I don't know if it's a trait or what exactly it is that makes it so Eliana really only wants to eat raw meat. So if we choose to be a hunter, then she can go and hunt for that. What we've been doing, having them catch fish because that works and that counts. So let's go with hunter though so that we can send them off hunting i think that would be a good idea the full moon is definitely getting higher up in the sky in moonwood mill so i'm just kind of waiting to see what might end up happening oh we're very angry now okay call of the moon from being a werewolf during the full moon rut row eliana can feel the pull of the full moon ah Oh, look at that. Yeah, our fury is really going up very quickly. So I think we're probably going to end up uh, turning into a werewolf real soon here. Oh, yep. Here we go. Sh we are now enraged. The beast beckons from a dangerous amount of fury. Eliana is losing her grip on humanity. Oh, and now we are rampaging. Oh, no. And we're scaring people too. Uh oh. Oh, and here we're going to be transformed. And it looks like Keegan is close too. So we're transforming into our werewolf form. And now Eliana is a werewolf. I think Keegan is going to transform pretty soon as well. So we are enraged, which really doesn't give us a lot of options. Oh yeah, here he goes. He's transforming too. 
So now he's transformed. Oh, we could have a werewolf brawl. Um, we're scared. We're scaring Mila Flex. We're freaking everybody out. So that's maybe not the best thing that we could be doing. Maybe we'll like go over here and scavenge the guard. Can I go hunting as a when I'm enraged? I guess all we can really do is howl or do a somber howl. So we could howl. You know, try not to freak out people too badly while we're in werewolf form. Yeah, Mila definitely is not liking us. I don't know why I kind of thought the full moon would there'd be like more to do with that. I don't really want to necessarily like snarl at Keegan and like make that relationship bad. Let's see, where is, where, where's our pack? I don't know where our, I don't know where our pack leader is. Our hangout is over here, but there's like nobody here. We can't do much. So we're just here. Maybe we should go to our house and not destroy the bar, maybe. Or is there anything happening in the secret underground lair? Nope. We're just here and enraged and clawing stuff. We should stop clawing things. Oh my gosh, Vlad is here. <gasps> Vlad. Vlad is out on a full moon. Okay, we're gonna come snarl at Vlad. Like, what's up with this? Why, Vlad, you, this is no place for you. Oh, he's scared of us. Good. You should be. All right, let's do a supernatural smackdown. We're gonna... We're gonna go at it with Vlad and see what happens. Wait, where did we go? Oh, is he gonna poof? Okay, we're gonna- we are fighting Vlad. I feel like this could- this could be kind of rough. I don't know how this is gonna go. Because it's Vlad and he's like the vampire of all vampires. But we're putting Vlad in his place and we're being like, don't you show up in Moonwood Mill on a full moon, Vladosaurus Rex? Like, what do you think you're doing? You don't belong here. This isn't your place. Go back to Forgotten Howl. I can't- Oh, I think we beat him. We did. We kicked Vlad's butt. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs a screenshot. We just beat up Vlad. Yes. That's right, Vlad. Get out of here. Vampires don't belong. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at him. He just got all like extra creepy. Oh, Vlad just got scary. Look at, oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever seen Vlad in that form before. Oh. Yeah, get out of here, Vlad. Okay, so we definitely put Vlad in his place. And we have a new moodlet that says Winter Wolf from Fighting. Take that, Plasma Drinker. The night belongs to us. Oh, we we're making everybody pass out because they're scared. Or maybe it's Rory because Rory's over here. What are we doing now? We're just running around. Okay, we're running around. We're zoo- we get- oh, we have the zoomies! <laughs> Apparently, as a werewolf, you can get the zoomies, and we currently have the zoomies, so we're gonna, we're zooming all over. All right, go Eliana. Well, Eliana is now a prime werewolf. Being a werewolf gets easier by the day. The sim has a new temperament that affects how she navigates the world and what causes fury to bubble over. Be sure to check out the new abilities, too. So now we also have sensitive hearing, which means that we get really sensitive to loud noises. All right, and so we've come over here. This is apparently where Greg is. We're still enraged. Let's go scavenge the ground over here. Oh wait, I think this is, is this Greg? Oh, it's Greg. We have found Greg, but Greg is asleep. Oh, oh, now he's awake. Let's see. We can't, why, we can't click on Greg at all. Uh oh, I, oh, Greg's coming over. Oh, Greg is coming over. And now we're tense from a dangerous scent. It doesn't take an exceptional olfactory prowess to sense there's the scent of danger. I guess we're turning back into a human, but we're back into a human. So our werewolf has ended. Now we're running around. We've got the worst headache imaginable. Greg has disappeared. Why are we running like this? We're not like a, we're not a wolf anymore. <laughs> What are we doing? Oh, we have the zoomies. We're not in werewolf. This is ridiculous. We have the zoomies, but yeah, we're totally in our human form. Okay, we that completed. All right, so it says that Eliana has completed her werewolf initiation. It's time for her to embark on the next chapter of her werewolf journey. What possibilities does her future hold? So we have four options here. We can become an emissary of the collective. We join the Moonwood Collective's dignified neighborly ranks. We can be a Wild Fang renegade and join the Wild Fangs and show the world who's boss. We can become a lone wolf, become the strongest and scariest werewolf on your own. Or we could become a cure seeker and seek to, to seek the cure to continue life as a normal sim. I think since we've already joined the Wild Fangs, we should probably choose Wild Fang Renegade and see what that aspiration ends up holding for us. 
Okay, so Eliana Gr Grimm has made it through the full moon. What a harrowing experience. Hopefully she learned a thing or two about being a werewolf. She doesn't give a fang about her reputation. Eliana has chosen to pursue membership with the Wild Fangs. Okay, so we have a new aspiration. The first step was to join the Wild Fangs, which we did. And then next, we need to turn Sims into Werewolf. So we have to obtain the Curse Bearer ability and use it to create more werewolves by turning non-werewolf Sims. Then we need Werewolf Domination. It's time for Eliana to get out there and show the world who's boss. Try obtaining the Territory Marking ability and make use of it. She can also spar with her werewolf friends or maybe even try her hand at provoking Greg. And then the last thing is to become the Alpha of the Wild Fangs. Okay, so that's what that aspiration entails. We are hungry, so we do need to go, let's go hunt for food and see what that ends up being like. And hopefully Eliana can get some, some food and we can kind of go from there and figure out what next. Okay, I guess that's, that looks like that's a wrap. Bit whole. All right, we're back. We have found some fresh meat. All right, so we have one ab an another ability point that we can spend. And our new options are we can take a lunar blessing. So we can extend the benefits from the lunar cycle. We can pick up night vision, which helps us explore with enhanced eyesight. Natural healing. We recover from injuries more quickly. Pack howl. Howl to the pack to fulfill social needs. Curse bearer. Turn other sims into a werewolf via the cursed fight. So I think this, we do need to be able to turn sims into werewolves for our aspiration. So maybe taking this is a good idea. We can pick up the curse bearer trait and make new werewolves. We still have some abilities to unlock, uh, like werewolf mentorship or a werewolf menace and werewolf diplomacy. So we still have some things that we could unlock. So I think though what we're going to do is we're going to take Curse Bearer and we'll have to transform some other werewolves into, or uh, some other sims into werewolves. Well, let's come and do a friendly introduction and see if they're a werewolf. Oh, I think so, because that was certainly like a werewolfy sort of way to behave. So let's... Let's get to know Trinity a little bit, I guess, and we could share our werewolf experience and work on building up a friendship with Trinity, and then we can challenge them to a spar, perhaps. We've become friends with Trinity here, so let's see if we can challenge them to a werewolf spar at the sparring grounds. That should count towards our aspiration. But I also just want to see what that is going to end up being like. Okay, these must be the sparring grounds. So we're here at the sparring grounds. We are going to spar with Trinity and see what that ends up being like for us. Okay, so we both are werewolves now. All right, let's go. It's looking like we're pretty evenly matched in this fight. I don't know. I, I don't know what rank Trinity is, so we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, did it? Or maybe we kind of came out even is how it looked like oh and that even improved our friendship and that counted toward our aspiration okay that's good that's good to know that if we spar that it is actually like improving our friendship what if we do a tug of war like what's that gonna be like oh my gosh it's like a dog <laughs> oh my goodness this is hilarious apparently we won that oh <laughs> i i was thinking i don't know what i was thinking but that was really funny now i do think we should call up lou and ask lou on a date all right, so we're going to go on a date with Lou, but we're going to go outside of Moonwood Mill. We're not going to go to Forgotten Howl. We're not going to, like, bring up that whole, like, can of worms. We're not going to go there, but maybe we go to San Myshuno, and we can go ahead here. Maybe we'll go to Planet Honey Pop, and we'll go. We're in our werewolf form, so it'll be interesting to see how people react in San Myshuno to Lou and I showing up as werewolves for whatever this, what's this holiday again? What are we doing? Love day. That's what it is. I can't remember what we're doing. Okay, so let's uh, offer a rose to Lou and we'll just start being flirtatious. We're already flirty because we are from someone that we are or near someone that we are enamored with. Oh, Lou is romantic. That's that's even better. Oh my goodness. Well, that 
Okay, go in for it, Lou. Good job. Okay, let's do a passionate. We're just, we're not even gonna like waste any time. We're just getting right down to it. So yeah, we are, we are fated mates. So we have that sentiment with, with Lou and we are deeply connected to him. We can ask him to be our boyfriend. Let's do that. Let's ask Lou to be our boyfriend. I don't know, maybe we could have pups. I hadn't really planned on like having like kids or anything like with that with Eliana. But since we discovered the whole fated mate thing, it seems like that's kind of the way to go. Wait, so what else would werewolves do on a date other than do a werewolf spar because why not right so we're sparring lou this should be fun to see who ends up winning or coming out on top with this particular interaction lou's been a werewolf a little longer than we have and has been in the wild fangs longer than we have as well so it's interesting to see it'll be interesting to see what happens with that Okay, I think he might have bested us in that particular go around, but we have a good, we've got a pretty good relationship with Lou. Our date is in the gold range of things, so I think we might end the date, head back home, and do whatever else we need to do for Love Day. We've got some new sentiments with Lou as well. Oh my goodness, look. We have a lot of sentiments with Lou. Holy smokes. So Eliana feels deeply connected. We had a jamtastic gift. We're closer from happy memories and we're smitten with Lou. And for Lou feels about Eliana, also deeply connected, also smitten. You are my jam. So he gave Eliana a gift and that has made him happy. And then Wolfie Warmth. Lou has felt the wolfy warmth of companionship with his packmate Eliana and really enjoys her company. This particular page appears to have a shimmering enchantment over the top that Eliana is able to read through. Those who have explored the tunnels beneath Moonwood Mill whisper of a magical chamber that depicts the town's secret past. A reward awaits those who sing the moon's song. Many have tried to find such a place and return disappointed. Eliana learned a secret about the mysterious room in the Moonwood Mill tunnel system. She should go check out the local tunnels for answers. Okay, I think we should go do that. Let's go check out the tunnels and see if we can find this mysterious room. So we're over here by the tunnels and we're going to go ahead and explore them and see what comes of that. The underground. It is evident the sewer grate has been opened recently. There are multiple sets of muddy footprints leading Eliana onward, though they become harder to see as the tunnel gets darker. The pathway leads downward, deep below Moonwood Mill, and it doesn't seem to stop. Diverging paths. Eliana encounters a tiny chasm and hops across it. On the other side, the tunnel splits in three. A faint melody, strange yet almost magical, seems to emanate from one of the paths. The next is littered with old, rusty debris, and the final path carries the scent of fresh air. All right, so we don't want to find the fresh air. We know that if we do that, it's just going to bring us back up out of the underground tunnels, and we don't want that. So we can either follow the melody or navigate the debris. I'm going to say let's navigate the debris because if we're looking for something that holds the secrets to the past, maybe they're going to be, it's, it's not going to be on a path that you would think. So let's navigate the debris. The old mill. More than once, Eliana nearly trips on some old junk. It's too large to make out what it is, even after coming across a large pile of old metal. Given how rusty it smells, it's probably safer to leave it alone since it's too dark to see. The swarm. Eliana spies something on the ground just ahead. It seems to be moving. As she gets closer, it scatters, and she realizes it was a small horde of rats. What could cause them to swarm like that? Ah, it's garbage. Okay, Eliana found some tuna casserole, apparently. Eliana seems to come to a dead end before noticing a small ledge off to the side. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but Eliana manages to clamber up and finds a set of three different tunnels. The one that had last seems littered with debris and gives off a rusty scent. The one in the middle smells a lot like garlic. The tunnel to the right has a pleasant odor, the smell of fresh air. Let's head toward the garlic. A garlic box. The scent of garlic leads down a twisting tunnel. Eventually, Eliana runs into a large metal box of some sort, but it's too dark to figure out what purpose it might have or if there's a way to get inside. Leaving the underground, Eliana can make out some light ahead. It must be an exit. Okay, so that didn't help us find our secret room. We'll have to try another set of tunnels and see where those go. 
It's the next day now, and so I thought maybe we could explore the underground a little bit more, that maybe we could go back to the sewer system and take the follow the magical melody and see if that leads us somewhere else this time. Our fury is also starting to go up, so why don't we, let's do our somber howl and decrease our fury a little bit so we don't go on a rampage, and then let's explore the underground tunnels again. All right, so here we've come to the diverging paths point again. And the last time we followed the debris, and that didn't really take us anywhere, like the secret room or anything. So let's, this time, let's follow the magical melody. Tunnel thoughts. These tunnels seem to go on forever, and Eliana gets lost in her thoughts. How long did it take to dig all of this? And who covers the maintenance costs? They do maintenance down here, right? An enchanted room. Ooh! The enchanted music fades as Eliana comes to a large room with an expansive relief carved into the wall. Embedded, growing cerulean crystals give off enough light to make out the story within. The artwork depicts a magical conflict between two sides, with some favoring plasma and others who draw power from the moon. Let's howl with the moon, moon music. The Enchanted Room Secrets Eliana recalls some scribbled notes she'd seen in one of the books she read, mentioning an underground room filled with the moon's music. Remembering the notes of the magical tomb that had been on the air a moment ago, Eliana howls a somber but sweet song to those notes. Further down the wall, a carved wolf's mouth suddenly opens and drops something out onto the ground. We have found an uncommon space rock. As Eliana is making her way through the tunnel, she starts to sing, all right? So we found the magical room that apparently depicts... I thought maybe we'd, like, get teleported, like, you know how there's, like, the secret lots... Uh, in like Oasis Springs and in Willow Creek. I thought maybe it was going to be a secret lot that we would get teleported to, but I guess, I guess that was not the case. Let's see. Okay, so we need to turn some Sims into some werewolves. And we are, we know Jenna Akiyama, so let's invite Jenna to come over and let's see if we can befriend Jenna enough that maybe we can turn her into a werewolf with a cursed light. All right, let's see if we can ask if Jenna wants to become a werewolf. We are friends with Jenna, so let's see what happens if we ask this. We can give her a cursed bite and just can like change her. We're gonna ask. Um, no, thank you. I don't want to be a werewolf right now, but I might change my mind if I knew you better. Okay, well we're already good friends with you. How how well do you need to know me? All right, well let's see if we can get to be even better friends with Jenna, and maybe that'll work. All right, so we've almost got our friendship bar maxed. So let's ask again if Jenna wants to become a werewolf, because we really can't be any better friends with Jenna than we are right now. So let's let's see what happens if we ask her now. All right, so Jenna, would you really like to be a werewolf with me? I mean, it's it's pretty fun. Looks like she's kind of just trying to decide. I was hesitant at first, but I think I'm ready to be a werewolf. Let's do this. Okay, so she wants to be a werewolf, so let's go ahead and give Jenna a cursed bite. She says she's ready to become a werewolf. We're good friends with her. So let's make Jenna Akiyama a werewolf and we are gonna send some werewolves to Mount Komarebi. Oh no, that did negatively affect our relationship. Well, sorry, Jenna. All right, here we go. We are converting our friend Jenna into a werewolf. Okay, we gave Jenna a cursed bite. So perhaps the next time we encounter Jenna, she will be well on her way to becoming a werewolf. We have a sentiment with her. Oh, big sad wolf. Oh, no. Eliana accidentally frightened Jenna with her werewolf ways. People close to Eliana deserve better than that. Oh, well, I mean, it seems to be okay. We're still good friends. And Jenna let us be give her a cursed bite. So that's a good thing. And I think that... We are going to end this episode here for right now. So we are well on our way to becoming the Alpha of the Wild Fangs. So I think next time we're going to keep working on those things that we need to do for the Aspiration. See what we need to do to kind of advance a little bit more in the ranks of the pack. I'm still pretty unsure on how that's going to go and how exactly you do that. But we'll keep experimenting with it. We'll plan on advancing that some more. We'll do some more sparring. And we need to turn two more people into werewolves. And we'll check on Jenna and see how she is doing once she becomes a werewolf.
beautiful. So thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye.